jerseys I and can't they will all have wait. new orgs. And uh, those orgs will be very, very happy because Fable said the same. Uh, my fault. Not EU, e Fable will be under the name EU's finest yes. throughout the rest of this show uh, until whatever org they uh, acquire is announced. But so we're going to say EU's finest and Latam Kings, those two being at the top of their regions, any org will be extremely happy to have those guys. All right, Blaze, we're going to kick things off here on Harbor. But um, speaking about Latam's finest, I mean the Latam Kings. Um, how do you feel about this roster heading into New Orleans? Because in Vegas, they were an absolute threat. They got top three. These guys just keep getting better. You know what? They, they're, the, they're the best in their region. They got some. They got five of the most versatile players there as well. Yeah. This is going to be a difficult matchup. Yeah. So as we look at Harbor, this is a big map. And the reason why I like Harbor so much is because it involves several different types of play styles. Um, there's a lot of team shooting involved. You have a big group fight over near Wynn. Um, yep. And also, the home hill players are oh so important down there by the docks. Um, who do you think is going to come out on top in terms of play style on this map? Oh, you know, both these teams like to get in your face. A lot of strategy. They got also a lot of flashy players as well, but also smart. Uh, is, you know what? And I'm going to be honest with you. Go ahead. This Optic team, man, they, they, they've been the truth. And uh, so far online, they've been showing us why they are so special and that, uh, why they do plan on living up to the hype of this squad. All right. And as you see, you're going to have Optic Gaming pushing right through Stern and Winch. And they're staying aggressive. They got Look one this. down, and they're deciding, you know, hey, just keep your foot on the gas. We know who we are. And Explosive is going to pick up a double kill now. They're just going to be living on top of that home hill of Latam Kings. But you're going to see Latam Kings, they're defending that B hill. Your season one MVP mental going absolutely huge here off the jump. But Desnat and Sleeper stepped up with two big kills to put Optic Gaming down two players. So now we are on board with summons. Guys, if you take a look at this set of blades, this set is very special because when you're going for the domination, this is extremely important to actually spread out with your lances and also have a guy on cutoff. Yeah, and this, this, this where summons is in a, in a beautiful power position. You see how he's able to... What? Oh, my God. But you see how he's able to get those shots in as those players are coming out of spine and also getting them nice and peppered up for explosives to get those shots in and finish Chaos. it off. But you're going to see Ladam King able to make it out of spawn. Optic is finally going to find themselves in position to cap this V-Hill. They technically kind of had a two-hill set up beforehand. But what Ladam Kings did was smart. Why? Because they said, hey, uh, let's rotate one of our guys over to B, fight a, a 2v1 type of situation, and hold off long enough for our boys to get in position to take over that A-Hill. With Stern taken under control by Ladam King, Desnite and crew, they're going to go ahead and pull out their support weapons to start for fire. Mentu sneaks up, takes out Avers with one shot, the explosive takes out Chaos. So here we go. Dezo in the 1v2. Ooh, gives a little straight, takes out Mentu. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. All right, I like the wall go. cancel. There we go. I like the wall cancel. Dezo but... unable to make the clutch plays, but Optic Gaming taking advantage of this stern glitch area, which is very important when it comes to Lance Fire across the map to support your teammates. So here we go. On explosive, he sees himself in the 1v2. He backed up just a little bit, but. He's not scared. He's putting down shots, but he was unable to make a huge play. I want you there. guys to take yeah. note of that adverse Desonite fight uh, against Mental, because one is that should have been a quick 2v1. You can't yeah. allow Mental to get up there. Not this fight, but the one previously. You can't allow him to get up there and kind of break that setup and flip that 2v1 back in Optic's favor. They get that quick kill, then they're able to overextend and get towards Optic's home hill and also have a few more pushes to get themselves in position to get that neutral hill. So with the time going to 200 points for Optic Game, it looks like it is pretty much over for the first round. Unless Ladam Kings are able to make a triple cap, which seems pretty unlikely. Chaos getting hit with a Lancer with the last few seconds. He goes down and your first round goes to Optic Game. Yep. Optic coming out on top in round number one. And we know Ladam Kings, they're going to go right for those dual spots for those support <laughs> weapons. Going to put something nice in the hands of Sleeper, rather if it's Marks or Botox or whatever, or whatever it may be. But the thing is about that is that Optic on the other end is going to end up having explosives who are going to be using those same weapons. And That's they're going to start wretch. picking it out. And, yep, it's going to be the Marks of Sleeper. So, but also, explosives going to be very deadly with that. Now, uh, explosives, we almost can call them the jack of all trades. Yeah. And, you know, I was, I was saying this, what, what, what I think is that you're going to have to have some uh, position changes, right? Because when you kind of compare the, the, the play styles of Praise and Solar as compared to Kenny and Icy, the, you know, they really don't kind of fit, you know? So from, from what I'm getting to understand, Explosive is going to be filling in more of what Kenny's positions were, really? right? And uh, more of what Kenny's positions uh, were. And then uh, Praise and Solar will take Explosives and uh, 
Icy's position. That's going to be interesting to see because I actually had a talk with um, Ryan, the coach, I mean, of Equifox. And we were comparing, you know, Solars and Kenny, huge skill from Adverse. But um, they, Solars is way more of an aggressive slayer. He's a power weapon, you know, jack of all trades. Um, do you think he could fit in well with that support role and just being where mental and explosives need him to be? In big fights. Most definitely, because you know, you look at explosives and you look at him with these, uh, with even his base weapons or the secondary weapons, he is so deadly with them. And it's just as simple as that. And uh, oh, that was going to be a good down on monkeys that he got. Took one bullet, praise going to end up cleaning up that kill. And we're going to see it's going to be Solar's kind of fighting that 1v1 position against Sleeper. So he's going to have to use those weapons while explosives focuses on the top half of the map towards that turn area. If Solar's is able to take down that support role extremely well, he's going to be definitely a threat. A guy that can support and slay out of his mind. But here we are, Ooh. one to one hills, 54 to 54. Things are tied up right now. Gameplay has slowed down here in the B area, but Solar's. This is a good, this, uh, this is a good fight in which I want to see because uh, they're going to cap up, but Solar's, it's his job to defend this. Now, if yeah. his team finds himself in a difficult spot, he's going to have to push out and try to fight that 1v2 to at least decap that B hill. But he's going to get reinforcements in. Now, you don't want to sit up there too long. The the team in which can sit in this position on this neutral hill is the team in which is controlling that win. So they have those sight lines. Currently opting. But now, Latam King is trying to make something happen. You see the cross is coming out. The damage is there. They managed to get a kill. And even the odds with Solar is getting a quick revive. If uh, if Monkeys was able to at least get that kill off the ground, you put Sleeper in such a better position with a 1v1. Beautiful play from Summons as he came on the flank and he was able to help a teammate take down Adverse. And here we go, Sleeper taken out as well. So, Solars picks up the kill. He moves along with Praise. They're in optimum position to go ahead and flank Adverse and Desnive, who's currently in the 2v2, which they won against Explosive and Mental. Yeah, we're, we're trying to see. He got Adverse trying to make a play happen. He's going to have his teammate with him. Was not Ooh. able to connect with that shot. But Praise. now Praise is going to start firing off a little bit. Looking like for that. the third. Gets the brick. And he's going to get some help over the top. But Latam King will be able to keep control of their home hill. They're also going to have the neutral hill as well. But folks, they're going to be down by about 50 points currently. They're going to have to react quick and try to get mid map control. Also push across the map towards out the game's home hill. Summons the home hill player. Previously on the old roster, full red, he gets taken out by Sleeper. And here we go with advantage here on the stern. We're going to see if Vladimir King can go ahead and make a huge move. We take a look at the points. We hear the time ticking. Nice three man, four man defense. Optics playing deep. Got the lances out, trying to slow down Vladimir King's that stopping power. And they're going to get it down. This is going to be good for him. Explosive gets the kill. We're entering that 200 mark for Optic with four players down. I make that five down for Latam King. Optic's going to take two rounds in a row. Blaze, that's, that's what makes the team so damn scary because when you look at Latin American Kings as a whole, I mean, they can do it all. They can slay. They're really good at supporting and shooting for each other. But this Optic Gaming roster, this new roster, they just seem to just bulldoze. Yeah. Throughout the rest of the map, their clutch potential is so high. It's out of this, and that's it's out of this role. And when you look at explosive and mental, you know, 13 kills, 12 kills, you know, a piece. These guys are really leading the way by example. I think we're, they're, they're going to look at the uh, the single spot on Stern. I don't think they're going to go for these dual spots yet. It's definitely a strong possibility because they are very important. And whatever weapon you put here can help you in a fight up top of Stern. So it's either going to be blocks or Botox. If not, it's going to be a long range weapon such as Sniper M Bar on top of that Stern. But uh, with this team, uh, and, I, and I think that's good because if you don't block that, then Optic's going to end up saying, hey, you know what? Let's put something here for Gilbert, which is explosives, and uh, let's either get the Botox down or Hammer Burst in and get that long-range uh, potential to help us in these fights. But, uh, you know, regardless of whatever happened, I think Optic would be okay on that, and the blocks is going to be fine, but our third weapon placement should be something on that stern area. Well said, Blaze, for 25 combined kills for Optic Gaming's top two players, Explosives and Mentors. We're going to go on board as you see a huge team fight with Dez and I getting first blood on Summons. He's going for a second. Yes, he takes down Mental. Can you go for a third explosive? They got to push. Yes. They can't let this round get away from them. And they got to get three kills in a row. But right. Adverse, he needs to go, go, go. He can't stay there in that position any longer. Desenai is going to try to see if he can get a cross to help out Sleeper. He needs to be quick with this cross because Explosive is right there in front of him. He just needs to look across and put some shots in. And Explosive does go down. Now, Adverse trying to be patient. He's a lone warrior in this situation. Choosing to back up is going to be the smart move. He's going to lose a teammate over there by that winch area. He's going to back up. 
So not everybody in Ronin, uh, sorry, in Ladiam King, able to react quick enough right. to make that domination happen. But they got Target those three consecutive kills. You know that if Optic was in that same position, then that, that clock would be ticking. Doom, doom, doom. This is one thing I don't like. Chaos <laughs> all by himself. Death Knight taking out by Praise, and here we go. Optic Gaming making a push to regain map control right here in a very crucial spot. Sleeper takes out Simmons. One player down for Optic Gaming, two down for Ladam Kings. And here we go. We have Chaos on the run. One of the top slayers for this Ladam Kings roster. He is being chased right now by Praise. Praise, known by his peers yeah. to be one of the best players. To oh, Galuie, he takes out Chaos in a 1v1. And here we go. Round three for Optic Gaming. Praise in that fight. Had Unfair. A, he had a left hand. Unfair. He had a left hand, but he knew that, hey, if I can take a shot, I can give a shot. Chaos, he delivered that shot. <laughs> wasn't strong enough, and Praise said, let me show you how it's done, big fella. See, Praise is going to test you. Praise is going to see if you really want it, and he will push that 1v1 if he's really feeling it, which Ooh. is about 100% of the time. So, okay. So I, I like know, that. I like it, yeah. I like and, it a lot. And I like it as well. And, you know, it's been a while since we cast Harbor. But even in our last harbors, and I think it was with this Ladam Kings team, we saw that boom get placed middle. Yeah. But I love it because it's like it's just kind of like think of it as reclaimed as well. You're not winning that bold fight, you're gonna switch it towards barn. Some teams aren't even prepared to fight for a weapon uh, of this stature that in mid map. Right. So we'll see which team has the best strategy. But both teams are gonna be focusing three players towards this boom shot. With a smoke grenade down, we see Solar's offering support fire. It's chaos. Picks up the boom shot and he gets away. Un Touch. So here we go. Ladam King. The favorite ones went around right now. Summons takes out Desnai. But here goes Chaos. Yeah. In the right situation. Go ahead. Use his boom shot. Now Adverse, he was he, at first he was like, yo, can I can I push this winch? And uh he's gonna find out that no, it's not gonna be an easy task. He's gonna go down. But this is cool. Chaos, he just needs to be patient. He has two booms. Bait out Adverse. He's gonna tap. And uh, Optic knows it. They say, hey, booms in position. Don't move just yet. But this push is going to have to be unified, and they may need one more member. Even if they got boom shot, they're still pushing at a height disadvantage. So, Ladam King is going to at least need one more player in this area to make it happen, or Adverse has to be the ultimate bait, and that's not how you're going to end up having to do it. Uh, not enough personnel in that area. Optic is going to get five players down and make the best of the situation. Domination is going to come through. Pretty unfortunate for Latin American Kings in that situation. I would say with the boom shot, they were making the right play by playing it slow and waiting for their teammates to come and help them out. But Chaos was not able to wait long enough as two of his teammates went down and he had to make the ultimate push. But that push was, I'm not I'm not a fan of it. That's that, you know what, but I, I felt like they kind of felt like they had to make yes. it. If Chaos was to roll back in that situation, he's got two lands to shoot at him, right? He was not in a position to run whatsoever. They had to go forward. This is that Avers to tap, tap into his inner toy soldier and use that movement I agree. to draw as much fire as he can. But also, you need to try to go for that first target as well. I have a question. What's up? I mean, you've been playing Gears for a while, right? A little bit. A little bit. All right. So um, earlier on, I felt like they, they had a solid push mm -hmm. um, that they could have done if they had Avers go up first. Do you think that they waited a little bit too long with that boom shot? When you have the boom shot, should you be aggressive or passive? You, you, you do want to be aggressive in those situations, but the initial push that, that Chaos tried to make through that middle lane was not a good one. If he went to the top right away, yes. he would have made it up there. He would have got that height advantage, and he would have forced all of Optic out there uh, off, of that, off of that power position, but he wasn't quick enough. All right, here we go. Chaos with the aggression. He downs, I believe, Solars. Unable to pick up the kill, but he's going to cap the hill. Solars cleaned up by Chaos. I mean, Sleeper, sorry. Chaos picks yeah. up the scenario, Naze. And here we go. Ladam Kings on a roll. Takes out two players about the game, and they also pick up the boom shot. I'm, I'm, I'm a kind of. The boom shot did get picked up, uh, but it will be. He died immediately. Chaos is going to pick it up off the ground, so he did get it. Now, Chaos needs to make a, 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 a decision on which way he wants to go, but I want to say this, that Optic baited the boom. They pushed through to the, through, uh, they pushed two players through the top stern, and they got those shots in on the back of Ladam Kings. The Ladam Kings realized that, hey, we got to push forward. So it was a little bit of chaos, but I like the strategy which Optic did. But Boom Shot is still going to go in the hand of Ladam Kings. So he's going to have to shoot that one, but that was perfect timing. He, he shot it in the heel recap, so that full three seconds was not up yet. So they're still controlling this two cap, and his Boom has a great angle. Optic's not going to go in here just yet. If Mental wants to bait out this Boom, that would have been a good play. Get the boom out, 
respawn quickly and get in positions with your team. But now, Optic's gonna push up top. They said boom or no boom. Now, Chaos needs to decide where he, what he wants to do. Because now, this is not a very advantageous position. Nobody will push through that lane. No. He's just hoping that his teammates hold off up top. And they're getting pushed out. And it's looking like Praise and Summon still alive. And they're gonna take Zezanai down. They're gonna get Monkeys. And they still win that fight. Boom kill coming in for Chaos. But still, you're gonna lose the fight up top on Stern. Here we go, Chaos taking out. Huge push by Optic Gaming as they were able to take out the player with the boom shot and go for the triple cap to Blaze. Round five goes to Optic. Yes, um, it does. Going against this team, so we're, we're kind of seeing a pattern here with Latam Kings. They, they pick up the boom shot, they have the power weapons, and we see a lot of passiveness. Yeah. Um, when you go against a team full of slayers like this, does passive play work out for you like the Insanes back in the day? Uh, it, you know, it depends on if that's your true team's identity. If, if you're being passive because that's your play style or if you're being passive because you're scared, right? Right. Those are the two differences of that. If it's passive because of your play style in the sense of how we kind of saw with the old school Team Envious, you're going to find your ways to win that round, right? You yes. have a structure in place in which you practice for to win those rounds. But if you're just being abruptly passive because of fear, then you haven't practiced those situations. Latam Kings is a very aggressive squad, and when we watch them play other teams in Latin, Amer Latin America, <laughs> I expect more. they look like Optic, right? They're <laughs> right. go, 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 right? Why is that? It's a lot of confidence in which yeah. they have. And uh, they need to figure out how to get the same confidence in this situation, but the way that the scoreboard is set up, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see no changes happening anytime soon. I'm just saying, I'm going to fight fire with fire. So here we go, round six. Um, Another huge fight. Marks is picked up by Explosives and Sleeper on Ladam Kings. And let's see who picks up the boom shot. Embar picked up by Desnai. It's going to be huge if he can make a, oh, a huge play. He's in the 1v1. Full red getting shot on the side. Summon here. It would have picked up the kill, but he was unable to get the end bars. It was popular. So you saw those long range bullets come in, and I, I don't know if it was by explosives because we had the shot. But one is that's the importance of marking, but also at the same time, some some uh, opportunities and some windows that you have to take control of the game are very small. Okay, you got to be efficient with those small opportunities. I like that. You see how long it took for the boost to get picked up? Optic Gaming is Ooh. learning. Oh my God, adverse. Optic Gaming is learning how to slow down their opponent's gameplay. They were able to drag that out, have solar, I mean, excuse me, some is fight the 1v1 and go on from there. That's so, good. That's a good shot call, right? That's a good shot call, and that's going to be, that's gonna be uh, explosive with that. Yes, adverse. Ran down solar to pick up the kill, and here we go, Dezo with a nice headshot. All right, so, so taking a look, B is being captured by Lanham Kings. Both home hills captured by their respective team. Let me pull my timer out real quick. There All right? we go. Let me pull my timer out because, uh, you know, the way this this new boom is set, well, it's, it's down. Yeah, so the boom is down, but boom coming up in Embar. Embar is on a minute 30 respawn timer. Boom shots on two minutes. So we're going to assume that both of these get picked up early game, but uh, if that Embar is up, you can just kind of rotate that M-bar down low. That 30 seconds is clean up time. And one thing that Ladam Kings do very, very well is the quick picks, right? Throwing proper smokes, getting quick picks, and getting power weapons right away. But it comes down to the second step. First step is good, but second step is just being efficient with those weapons. Chaos and Sleeper attempted to bait and switch, but they were unsuccessful. Summers was able to back up with teammate support, downing both members for the kill. Here we go, Explosives with the headshot with the mark. So, back on Solus, the support player for this team with nine downs. He gets taken out by Adverse. Adverse, the guy that went absolutely off in Vegas. I, I love the kid. He he has streaks where he just goes on these rampages. Yeah. Um, everybody on this Land M Kings roster, they're able to do that, which is um something we've yet to see in this game. But I would love to see them pick it up here to make it a game against the game. You know, it's gonna be map number one. This is also a map pick of Land M Kings. And really? Yeah, this is yeah, this is gonna be their map pick. Uh, you know, Optic loves COG way more than they love to the map, so that's <laughs> we can all take that as a note. Uh, <laughs> but so in this situation, you're gonna see Mental, he's gonna be pushing out towards that top side. You got two heels in control of Ladam King, so they're in a good power position. The most important thing is just making sure that they not get dominated and they can they keep this pressure up. Mental connects with two shots on both of them. Oh my god. So he's do like it. Don't, do it. don't do it! Mental! Oh, a one-man army. He and you know what? He went for those body shots purposely. He knew the distance that he had between them both, and after getting those body shots, but he knows he has to try to get in. He's gonna get some extra help from summons, 
So they secure their home hill, and he's able to push back up to Stern, get a height position. So now we'll see what he wants to do. I kind of want to stay on board with Mental just a little Please, bit longer. Don't, don't get uh, off of him. Woo! Oh, my go. God. Three kills in a row. How much? What, what, what else you got for me, Bill? You got something on Monkeys? No, Monkeys that, that, looking crazy at you. Monkeys <laughs> looking crazy at you. How about you headshot Monkeys right there on the right? Yeah. Just give, see, give him a little something. See, see me? Watch him. He's going to headshot him. Let's let y'all know right now. Monkey's going to pick up. Look at the confidence. Look at the confidence. Oh. 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 Don't get the kill. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. It wasn't a headshot, but the kill did come through. Four in a row for Mental. Oh. He goes in. Oh. Unable to get Big the fifth clutch. kill. Big it goes back chaos surviving. He got two teammates, but he got another 1v2. The clutch. Oh. The clutch. Oh. The teammate got up in the trade comes through. That was big for Ladam King Ooh. with the threat of a domination coming through. They do get their first round on the board, folks. And uh, that's going to do wonders for their confidence. But they stepped up at the end. Big plays by Chaos. Yeah, that was one hell of a round of plays. What more can we say about Mental? You know what? That's what separates him from the rest of the pack. Mm -hmm. The fact that he stood there in a 1v2, hit both shots, challenged the 1v2. Who does that? So also also in that fight, he could have tried to put – I think he shot the one guy with the m bar. He could have put the second shot on him because he and was the And just killed him and had a 1v1. And killed him, right? And yeah. then had another 1v1. But uh, he opted to go for the other guy in the bag. Once he knew, he was like, yo, both of you guys are four-pointed. It's, it, it, it's <laughs> done at this point. Right. If I'm Ashes sitting behind him, I'm like, boy, you better run. <laughs> you better go. You better go. Exactly. So oh, in around check. seven. Here we go. And guys, this is a reset, so the weapons that were there previously aren't anymore. Optic Mental on board with us. 21 kills, 8 down. He picked up another down in this team fight. He's going to help out Praise, who's currently in the 1v2. Able to stay alive as he downs one player. Praise gets down. Here goes Mental picking up a double kill with Summit. He comes through. And so we saw that double team across that line. And <laughs> they will we'll put a horn. Right. But you saw the double team across that line. So those uh, two sub Two, uh, two secondary weapon positions that got blocked on top of the home hills on the first round would have been key to fight that, right? You yeah. got a marks there. You can kind of keep those guys head down and force your teammates to have a more successful fight on that winch. So uh, we'll see if something kind of gets changed in this half. But in this one, it's looking all optics so far. You got three members of Gladiator Kings pushing up towards third. Mitchell's going to kind of rotate out using the smoke for cover. Going to take a quick 1v2 with his teammate. And Gladiator Kings, they're aware of it. They're going to back up and play their numbers. But Mental, Mental is happening. Okay, Mental, unable He's done. to show off once again for the stream. We are on board with Adverb. Guys, remember, if you want to watch this team and more live, purchase your tickets for New Orleans. I'm telling you now, Vegas was crazy. New Orleans is only going to be better with an event with two games, Halo and Gears of War. But back on board, Summons gets a kill on Desnai. So with a hill count of 2-1, to one, let them king. They do have an advantage, not by point-wise, but soon they will. And we're going to see if Optic Gaming can go ahead and make this push to capture Eden. Also, I'm going to say, you know, even back on the whole New Orleans point, is that for you guys at home that wasn't around uh, when Gears first entered the eSports round back in 2007, multiple when Halo games. and when the multiple best. games was under the same the roof, very few people have got to experience something like that. And you never know when one of these opportunities is going to come around again. So, you know, come chop it up with pros from multiple different games, yeah. multiple different influencers, and uh, but most importantly, the influencers, uh, the influencers of Gears of War, and support the game that, that, that loves you. Exactly. You know Help both love back. teams grow. Because the one thing that I loved about multiple game events is that when we played, we had players like Washi and others coming up to watch us. Yeah. And that, that, was, that was something special. The fact that you can have an audience from two different AAA titles come by and watch your game being played, it is the best. Uh, you know, for the, it actually, you know in, uh, in Vegas, I actually met Walshy for technically the first time. Even though I've watched <laughs> him for years, I've been yeah. in multiple different venues with him for years. Such a nice guy. But I met him for the first time, and, you know, when I walked out to him, I just said, you know, I just want to say that you're a legend, and I appreciate <laughs> yeah. you. That was the first words that came out of my mouth because yeah. I never got a chance to show him appreciation. Right. Uh, because of what he did with Final Balls back in that day and the superstar that he was in, that's still deep to my core. Yes. So I'm going to always show respect for him because of uh, the way that Final Balls paved esports in a sense and the way that they brought that excitement in those early storylines and showed that early dominance yeah. of what a real team looks like. I and you guys, I'm going to tell you, if you've never seen dominance like that before, then you're mistaken because Optic Gaming is, the next team, is, is that next Final Boss. Oh, you think so? Yeah, they All just, right. just I mean, they are, I think so years. far. Yeah, yeah, so far. So they, they, far. They've already done it, the and they're about to do it stacked. again. It's, right. it's like when they dropped Sam for Strong Side, and they went on another run, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what's happening now.
quick fun fact before we head on to the game. Um, I actually, that was my second chance, second time meeting Walsh. Yeah. I met Walsh in San Francisco in, I think, 2004, and that's when I found out about competitive gaming. But on board with Chaos. Oh, here we go. Three Optic members down. Some is the soldiers. The last one's alive, and here we go. Monkeys offering shots. Two hills currently in control from Lat M Kings. The summons was able to get a headshot on monkeys. So Optic Gaming summons keeping the streak alive with two straight kills. The question is, can Optic Gaming go ahead and make this push? Summons, can we go on summons screen, please? The man is on the terror cleaner. There we go. Summons three kills straight. 23 kills, 11 down. Here he is, a guy that we usually see, you know, playing a passive role. No, with this new Optic Gaming roster, he is doing improved. He's aggressive. He's in the fight. This is a summons that we would love to see that we haven't seen before. Yeah, and you know, uh, summons in general has done wonders for this team. Just the way he plays position, he is a, he is a real soldier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay to have soldiers on your team. Not everybody needs to be a leader. Not everybody needs to be in the spotlight. You just sometimes need soldiers to get the job done. And he is one of the best soldiers that we got on the scene. You're going to see Ladam King get up to the top turn. They pick up two kills. They're going to get three kills as well. That's going to be four members down from Optic Gaming, all left to Solars. He's going to be alive, but these are going to be short respawn timers. Now the home hill of Optic is being threatened, and the domination is coming through. The question is, can Optic have some of that Optic magic in the situation? And Ladam Kings wasn't having it. Turning it up a notch. These guys went on the tear for the last streak of kills. Ladam Kings trying to make it a game, down two to six. Um, I mean, we've seen comebacks before, but against this Optic Gaming roster, it will be an extremely high uphill battle but if I were to put my money on any team to do it, the AM Kings can at least make it close. They opinion. definitely can. And we talked a little bit about that line, right? And having that marks in that, in that position, and you've seen it place beforehand that uh, that marks it did go down. So now uh, both teams are going to have a little bit of help on that line to kind of keep that player's head down so they can focus on that fight at Winch. And then uh, you're going to see that Torque Bow being dropped. And hey, the Torque Bow is going to be good. It's still a, a long range weapon. Uh, you can still work those sight lines from being on top stern with that high elevation as well once you win that team fight. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but, mo but most definitely, it's going to come down. You see Mental, he's going to hit that winch. And he's hitting that corner, coming around. Uh, and he's trying to chase, but he's actually going to back up. So this is the most important fight. All right, Mental, full red. Let's see if he can make magic like before. Praise takes out Adverse for the first blood. Before red, Mental is going to run away to help out his two teammates in the 2v1. No, he's going to sit back with his Lancer, all for support fire. The rest of his teammates are pushed by, they take out Monkey. Mental with the Torque Bow. Something I haven't seen since Gears of War 3, Blaze. And here we go. Making sure Desnot is full red as he's picked up by his teammate Praise, cleaning up the kill. Two hills to one. And M Kings doesn't look good for him. And Vail, and you, uh, for our new viewers out there, that's what makes the Torque Bow so important, because it has that splash damage. So whatever you hit, is gonna have that splash damage radius. So Mental knows that he, he can just put the Torque Bow on the wall, right? And if that guy still sits in that position, if you don't know where that Torque Bow lands, he can still pick up the kill, kind of how we saw it on the ground with that person who was fighting at the winch. So at this point, usually we're going to see some players. He, he was trying to wait for the guy to kind of straighten his uh, sight line. Usually we'll see him just shooting right at the ground and roll back and kind of have that wall. But folks, domination coming through. We'll see. Can Adverse do anything? He cannot. Optic Gaming comes out on top. Map number one, seven to two. So he's... This, this Optic roster scares me. Hmm. They, they scare me. I mean, look, heading into this last round, um, quick look at the stats, you know, over 100 kills for Optic Gaming, and it seems like only about half of that for that M Kings. Now, you know, I, I've shared my skepticism with this Optic Gaming roster, uh, saying that, hey, yeah. you can have the powerhouses, you can have all the power in the world, right? Okay. Can, okay. But still, you have to have that composure, and you still yeah. have to be focused uh, in those situations. Now, you know, I kind of said yesterday, that you know, with, at least with Optic, is that when they're having fun, oh, they're, they're, they are cool. they are so deadly. Yeah. And if you kind of listen to the scrims in the, in the past two Ks and this past two K that went by, yeah, that they're laughing, they're giggling, they're having fun, and they're shooting straight, right? They're very very dominant because they're super comfortable. Now every other team on the circuit needs to figure out how do we make them uncomfortable. Oh, then yeah. when you figure that out, you strike. Well, I mean, it only sounds so easy to make them uncomfortable, right? But Optic Gaming with the new members. Praised and Solars heading into map two of this show match against Ladam Kings. I see we learned a little bit more about Opti Game.
What makes me a good player is probably just because, I mean, I played a game for a really long time. I've been competing for a little bit over a year. Uh, I got into just playing from Gears of War 2 since, I mean, it's probably like eight years ago. So just that competitive mindset has always been with me for a really long time. I think like one of my biggest skills compared to like any other player in uh, Gears Esports is my 1v1 uh, mechanics. Uh, just knowing what everybody does, I'm pretty much just always like a step ahead of like my opponent. Optic is a very passionate team and the players in Optic are very passionate. I would call our team a little bit of both, uh, strategic and instinctive. We don't really play textbook all the time, we're like, we adapt to the situation and what's going on. So, I mean, a little bit of both, I'd say. You don't want to get us mad, trust me. We just play a lot better when we're mad. I mean, it's, we want to win more, like we want to make sure you lose and want to pay for you talking trash to us. I am so excited to see this team perform here in New Orleans, God Blaze. I'm telling you right now, New Orleans is going to be one hell of an event. Yeah. Um, coming up in what, two and a half weeks? Exactly. And you, you kind of listen to what Summon said before in that piece. Uh, and he was just saying how he was just talking about, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, strategic, but we're also very, very aggressive, right? And we yeah. know how to mix that up. That map that we just saw on Harbor, you know, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be seeing plenty of those maps in New Orleans, but that map on Harbor, you saw how aggressive they were beforehand. Yeah. They saw what type of strategy Ronan was running, and they said, hey, let's be passive and let's hit them from a different angle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's hit them with these crosses real quick because they know how to play both sides of the fence. Some teams only know how to play one. Okay. Um, I, I love the fact that Optic Gaming, they – they target a specific area of the map yeah. and fight those 3v2 battles. They, they love those team battles. So that's something that you really need to keep an eye out against, uh, an eye out for um, with this team. But heading into map two, it's going to be Lyft, a map that, I mean, I've seen Optic Gaming run around and dominate teams before, but if any team could actually put a dent in their armor, um, I think Latin Kings actually have a chance because yeah. of their team fire. And this is going to be one of their best maps as yeah. well. Uh, Latin Kings have been playing Lyft, uh, you know, so much. As I want to say it's, it's one of their top picks as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes down to that 2v2 split that we talk a lot about on Lyft, that 2v2 towards the game rooms, kind of fighting for those rough. home heels early on. Yeah. Then you have that 2v2 on that platform, you know, and you got that one guy in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, those 2v2 battles are going to end up deciding on how this match goes. Yes. Because if you win the one on that platform, oh. you, you're good. You can control the B hill, control the two cap. You win the one on the other side of the map, you push your opponent's home hill, yes. you control that two cap. You got two cap situations for home hills or home plus neutral. Yes. That, that's, uh, that you can work with. And uh, on this game, um, the key to the game for this Light M Kings roster, if they won a chance, um, you can't start code against Optic Gaming. I want to see them come out the bat swinging. They, they need to dominate off of initials. Um, if they can't get initials, you might as well just log out the game because this roster, they are fierce, they're fiery. Um, I, I feel like Light M Kings can do it. One player I'd like to see step up, um, definitely Chaos. I would like to see him become the Chaos that I've seen at multiple events this year. Same with monkeys. Yeah, uh, I, I would say uh, monkeys a little bit more than chaos, but that's that's kind of like the duo on what you need, right? Yeah. Those are the two in what you need going off. And uh, if you got Sleefer uh, being super annoying with those secondary weapons, then that's going to be huge too as well, because that's going to be putting a lot of pressure on your that's opponent. That's going to be key. And as I talk, you need to figure out how to make Optic feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Exactly. Now, a good secondary weapon player with the Botox, Hammer Burst, Marxes, if they're constantly hitting shots, that's a lot of damage out there on your opponent, and they, they, their play style will change. Here we go, Solars being extremely aggressive in the 1v2. He puts a shot out in the smoke, tags adverse. He wants to make a move, but he got stunned. Here he goes. Support fire coming his way to help him out. Explosives taken out, so Solars feeling pressure to make a move, and here we go, Optic Gaming making a push. Solars with the angle. Puts out a shot, hits it. This was, this was nice. That was actually a good play by Ronan. But the question is, can they perform and finish it off? Yes. So the play was to flip that right hand advantage. They pushed through and they, and, and, and they took the right hand away from uh, from Optic Gaming after they didn't make good use of it. Also, their teammate, the third guy, was able to uh, kind of win his engagement. So they wrapped around with right hand and more numbers as well. So they was able to take that fight now. Optic is on the defense trying to uh, defend their home hill. Well, actually, Optic is on the offense. They're on top of Latin Kings' home hill. Ooh. 
And Light MK is looking to finish off. They're going to get both kills, but they're trying to stay alive. Dez and I say, hey, let me get the quick read. But you see the angles in which Optic has by these game rooms. Dez, looking deadly. Dez now with a double kill and a revive, making a huge play for his team. Adverse gets taken out with a headshot. Chaos picks up a kill as well. So here we go with the team fire. Optic Gaming looking strong as Chaos is taken out. Um, one thing about this map, Blaze, is that the, the team shooting lanes, they're pretty wide. So that's what I like to see from both teams at this point in time. You see Lance Fire go across your screen. Solar's in the ideal spot to support for his teammates. But here we go with explosives pushing for the 1v1, which will soon be a 1v2. With no fear, he pushes up, gets down, and he's soon going to be taken out. Yeah, I'm afraid he's going to come off spawn a little bit late. But like I said, before this map started, that's the beauty about it. Uh, and actually, I prefer the home hill setup with A and C on the first half a lot better Ooh. than your home hill plus the neutral. And because uh, you see all those sight lines from having that top rock uh, control, from having the game room control. This is the setup that Ladam Kings have. They're able to split up and keep the pressure on their opponents. But also at the same time, when your team spawns up, they are right back in action based off on how close that home hill is to spawn. So Ladam Kings currently running that setup and he has a slight lead. We'll see how they can build it up. But you see just the shots they're able to get off. All the Lancer bullets and they're going to make quick work of Optic. And we'll see if they want to play for the domination and push this one through, or just wait for Optic to respawn and play out again. Optic Gaming with a huge three for three in that push with their teammates. Praise takes over Adverse, so that is four kills in a row for Optic Gaming. All players alive for them. This is time for them to go ahead and make this push. You take a look at the overhead So map. Optic made the smart play. They say, hey, we got enough time. They chose to push the lane by the B hill that was not covered by Ladam King to try to get themselves out of spawn, make sure they got all five, all five players spawned up. Also, they want to hit both these home heels simultaneously because they, they don't got much time to work with. The C heel gets decapped, getting recapped, but they, the kills did not come in favor, and that was a great defense by Ladam King showing how to properly set up on home heels on lift. Here we go. Exciting first round. All right, Optic Gaming looking to end this in a 2 0 fashion if they keep the streak alive. So, Desenide, what, what weapon would you like to see them place? Uh, so, this is going to be, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they're actually going to go for these uh, marks. And actually, guys, I, I, I apologize. That's the, you know, the, the, uh, the quick switch between the two maps. Because uh, I called that at the end of that last round as if Latam Kings. Uh, came out on top with it, but it was actually Optic Gaming, so my apologies on that one. Uh, that was Optic Gaming showing you guys how to run a proper yeah. two-hill setup. I get, you know, sometimes you get confused on a quick switch between maps. Uh, but yeah, so that was Optic Gaming, and uh, you're going to see Ladam Kings get those uh, markers down, you know, and the reason why they do it is because Sleeper is very, very deadly with it. Yes, and here we are. We see a 2-3 split. The duos are going over near the marks to pick them up, and here we are on board with Adverse being extremely aggressive. He has soldiers in the sights. Gets him with one shot. Mental picks up the marks. So here we go. Latin American Kings making a huge push. They find themselves in a 1v1 Adverse. Big fight against Praise. Praise being backed up by Explosive, who came up with a Lancer. He was able to take out Adverse, and Optic Gaming is on the run. Yes, they are. And so, gonna have Chaos come in. He's gonna be able to pick up that kill. Two heals in favor of Ladam, and could not get the third, but we'll see if he has any teammates close. It will be Monkeys. Monkeys needs to make a decision with right hand advantage. Does he want to push and take this fight with Solars? And he chooses to back up. Uh, I think he was taking some shots across maps, so that's why he chose to back up. Yep, his team, yep, he's gonna be taking more shots. He's gonna go down, but nobody's gonna be in position to get the kill, so he's gonna put himself in a safe position. But at first, I was gonna say, hey, you need to take those fights, Monkeys. That's yeah. the right hand, no matter who it is. And uh, But he just could he not. He made the right play. He made the right play. He went over to his teammate, got revived, and was able to get the kill, but summons with his pistol out, putting in heavy work. He's coming to help out his teammate. A little bit too late as Explosives was taken out, but Adverse and Praise team up together to take down, excuse me, Summers and Praise team up together to take out Adverse before Summers was shortly down by Sleeper's Lancer. And Summers is still in this hill. He's going to be able to cap this up and actually hold down the two cap for the squad. So now, Optic is showing us, hey, once again, focusing on the two cap, focusing on controlling both game rooms. And now, just slowing down the pace, light down Kings. But once they, we saw at the end of the first half, at the end of the first round, they're pushing out. They're making that B hill their home hill instead. So, and that's going to be good because it gives them that space to 
let yeah. the rest of the team spawn up to yep. put themselves in a position and make a good team push to try to regain control of both these home hills. Earlier on, Blaze, I said that in order for Latin Kings to actually have a chance, they had to come out strong on initials. They've done that twice. Um, it seems that the main game at Jester Prop, the game was just too strong as these guys they were able to adapt and control the round no matter what situation is thrown at them. So here we go, Chaos coming off of five seconds to revive as Lat M Kings are being pushed to 2v3 monkeys unable to help out. So he backs up with a lance for Desnai, comes up, takes out Mental Sleeper, headshot summons in three players killed in a row for Op excuse me, for Lat M Kings. And here they are on the offense monkeys. Coming up with a flank, but no, he, he wasn't able to do it because Desnai was able to take out Praise on his own. So here they go as they go for a two hill cap. We'll see if they can get it. They're trying to recap the sea hill. Both teams, if they keep one hill in their favor, it will be Light Down Kings tying us up one on one. And I think Optic knows that. That's why he's just trying to decap this home hill as soon as possible. No. Oh, <laughs> he got no, it in the time. He got it in the time. <laughs> did he? All right, there oh, we go. Oh, actually, he did it. Okay. <laughs> I can't let that happen to you, man. I, I thought he hit that back roll. His play would have had to been just get in the hill and try to get some long range shots in, right? Yeah. Get that, get, hold that L trigger and try to get that down from a distance while you're decapping that hill. But that's a small room for error. Yeah. And uh, not not all players can kind of see that in the midst of, you know, trying to push all across the map. And yeah, exactly. And, and trying to make that play for your unit. Gears of War is a very fast paced game. And when you get to the top level, you're going to have to be able to multitask. You're going to have to be able to do multiple things at once. You're going to have to think about the score where players are on the map, paint a picture for your teammates, and also get kills. Um, that's why I love this game. It, it requires a ton of not only in-game skill, but mental. Mental. It, it, re it requires a lot of mental um, talent to be able to compete at a high level. All right, so here we go, round three. When they look at the duo, adverse. And teammate pushing up, being aggressive. The, but the smoke was bad. The right. smoke didn't get us to get a stun. That's why he took so much damage. We saw Solar was able to get a lot of shots in with that like pistol. This. Chaos was able to have to fly in and try to release on that pressure off his like teammate. This. But they need the Ooh. flank to come through soon. Adverse said, hey, you know, forget getting my health back. I need to get in here and help you. He goes down, but now oh, he leaves his teammate in the clean 1v1, not able to do it. Solar comes out on top. He's going to get that M bar to reward himself for his efforts, and we know how deadly he is with this weapon. One of Optic's new <laughs> latest pickup soldiers going absolutely big. Picks up the M-Bar, picks up his 10th kill, his third kill in a row for this round alone. Solars, one of the most fearsome players from Echo Fox earlier on in the season, now Ooh. making a play. Now, yeah, yeah, that second shot was a solid shot. He noticed the guy's full red after he hit him the first one. Uh, help's gonna come through, but you know, that, that D-cap did come in. But, you know, based off of being early in this round, you know, wasn't super, you know, uh, uh, super detrimental. The domination is still going to come through. The rest of the team is in position, defending the home hill. Desenai surviving by a string. He goes down. And uh, Ante Gaming will end up taking round number three. Now, I'm curious to see what does Latium Kings want to do when it comes down to the weapon placement. They may actually place down Boom Center between the two that. home hills. Uh, they love the quick, aggressive team fights. That's their play style. And even if the M bar is on the other side of the map, it really doesn't matter. It's kind of like think about foundation as as well. We've seen that M bar be placed on top of uh, the B hill on foundation, and also still people will play for boom under clothes. You know, the M bar is just treated as a one v one at that point. But they're gonna go for the block. They want. They like how it's set up. They want to. Get the, it's only one round. It's, it's only a one round uh, but you know, difference Blaise, between the two. Sometimes you're going to have to look ahead. Um, one thing about yeah. this Latin Kings roster is that, okay, off of initials, two out of three rounds, they were favored. Yeah. Um, they were unable to take control mid-game on. So if you're able to win initials and you have a heavy weapon down to control, I feel like that's the play you should make. If, if Latin Kings just completely destroyed this round, they will place that bomb down. Oh, yeah. But if they do win this one pretty convincingly, uh, they're going to end up putting uh, nades or incense on the other half of the map. So, yes, but also at the same time, no need to panic. But here we are, praise on the flank of his teammate. It's getting chased by two players, but here he goes. <laughs> 1v2 situation, adverse gets taken out by Solars. So, one player remains on. Lat Am Kings in this 2v2 situation, but no, help comes. Desenai takes out not only praise, but Solars as well. He picks up the marks that and he's offering shots across the map. Now, Desenai is going to be rotating back around. Gonna help his teammate cap this B hill. 
gonna be looking mid map to see if he can see any players crossing. But now gonna end up having to double back towards his home hill. As I say that, his team does win a fight. You see the other three players across the map, they're pushing forward. Now the sound of the M bar is gonna be the sound of the M bar is powerful as well, because now you gotta re realize where that guy is. And I was wondering if Des and I saw that flank early on, but he gives him the Okie though, manages to not take any damage. But he has to say, hey, I need to probably defend this B-Hill as well. Ooh. The smoke stun comes through. That's going to give summons enough time to decap and get off the scene. So, oh. and he comes back he, in. He, he tried to stop. He says, why place. you think I ran? He says, why you think I was going to run from you? I, I was know, just dodging a shot. I don't know if you saw it, but when summons was being shot at, he ducked. Yeah. He ducked. <laughs> that was the next level. And, and you, but, but, it was but, but you see the point making of it is that, he dodged and pushed right away because he says, yo, this guy thinks I'm going to rotate back around or he thinks I'm going to be patient and wait right. for him or he thinks I'm going to be passive because he has a power weapon. No, he got back right in that fight. Summers is smart, man. Mm -hmm. that, that's one thing that's underrated about Summers. I mean, being a 1v1 player, you have to know when to push and pick your battles. And Summers knew exactly when to push and bait for Desenai to go ahead and try to strip that M bar. So here we go, Chaos. Desenai gets taken out by Optic Gaming. Domination is coming through. Monkey fighting, but it gets taken out last second as Optic Gaming picks up the third round this map. You know, uh, you know, as a player, you know, you find yourself in situations like this and you visualize the, the your next play in your head, right? Yeah. You see three people in front of you, you visualize what you may need to do to kill all three of those people or, or to win that 1v1. And sometimes it does not go your way. Majority of the time, it does not go your way. But for Summons, I feel like the play that he visualizes in his head, 8 out of 10 times goes his way. Yeah, I agree. I would like to go on board with Solars. Player with 15 kills going absolutely big for this team. Feeling right at home, ladies and gentlemen, if you aren't aware, Solars actually started off with this team. And now he's back home where he belongs. So here we are, 3-1 to one Optic Gaming. Smoke grenades are out and adverse with the aggression. Gets hit by Solars. The Solars taking a little bit of damage. He backs up behind the smoke grenade, trying to find a nice mark. His teammate Praise goes in there for the kill, but he finds himself in the 1v2 with a pistol out, unable to capitalize. Solus gets taken down by Adverse. So here we go, Praise with explosives coming in for backup. Explosives able to immediately make a play, downs and takes Adverse out. So in the 1v2 scenario, Praise finds himself full red. Explosives is able to come back and get both kills by taking out Chaos. An inch was the difference in that fight. If that down player started crawling a little bit quicker, where explosives couldn't get that that kill, clean up that kill, since it is execution rules from the other side of that that gate, then that guy would have tapped up and he would have been back in a fight. Oh, it would have been a two v two situation. Uh, but you know, just just an inch on that one. But you're gonna see an optic gaming controlling the B hill in their home hill. Praise looking for some angles, but most importantly, he's just gonna be controlling this area of the map with those four kills going in favor of optic gaming. Gonna use his inbar to get some shots in on adverse. And most importantly, uh, get himself in his hill with the rest of his team. And they know that they know that Ladum Kings is not in a position no. to get to that B hill in time, and they have to come straight to them. Not at all. One one thing I'd like to point out is how smart optic gaming is. Um, every player on that team, they know when to rotate to help out a teammate. Whenever somebody falls, um, explosives, he was able to come immediately. It, it came to a point where a 2v2, um, even though Optic Gaming lost a player in, in Solars, it, it really made no difference because explosives was right there to help out. Yeah. And that's what you need from a captain as a player um, with that having IQ like explosives. And, you know, I just hope that with Lydown Kings as they approach this show match, uh, and especially with the earlier rounds on Harbor, they say, hey, uh, let's let's try this different. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Let's let's run this game plan. Let's be super aggressive and let's go blow for blow, match up and match up, and see what happens, right? Yeah. Rather than try to be too smart in this situation. Well, I ain't gonna say too smart, but uh, rather <laughs> be too evasive in certain situations because this is a show match, and this is gonna be one of the very few times where you can where you're gonna be able to play optic gaming and not have anything to lose, right? Yeah. One of the very few times you'll be able to play them in a serious environment and not have anything to lose. So uh, that's where you really have to be crafty with your practice. You know, you know, if you have to take it, Pedro Strike, I'm the coach of Ghost Gaming, he said 2Ks or quizzes, land events, those are the real tests. Ooh, okay. So listen, this is the time you have to try different things. You have to switch up the play style if things aren't working. If you I don't win it all, you know what? Oh, well, you're going to live to fight another day. But, you know, get all the practice and reps in that you can trying different things. Beautiful headshot by Chaos as he takes out explosives. But this is the time when you try out different things because when land hits in two and a half weeks, July 13th, you can be able to throw these different strategies at him that you practiced earlier on in 2Ks. 
Chaos been decided if he wanted to cap this heal or if he wanted to try to help his teammates. He could have capped the heal six years ago. Oh my god! Oh. Two in a row for Chaos. He had a mission though. He had a mission. 12 kills and an M bar. Chaos going absolutely off. He's on fire. Two for two for headshots at the moment. Let's see if he can go ahead and get a third. All right, up to gaming up four rounds to one, but also down one hill to two. Being up 83 to 53. Light M Kings, they need to go ahead and make a push. To oh, oh, he was a second off for that release though. And I don't, you know, I don't think it was him trying to get away. I just think it was a miss, uh, a miss timing on a release of that M bar. You know, I, I really like what Kels is doing with that M bar. Um, he was positioning himself around the map, you know. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a trade. There we go. Oh, okay. that worked out. get up and get a, get a kill on his post before he was picked up by Solus and Amisha. Solus in a 1v1 against Adverse. Adverse staying in cover, waiting for the smoke grenade to come by to make sure that Solus dropped Amisha. He runs away because a 1v2 was not ideal at that very moment. So with the Sea Hill uncapped, we're going to see Solus go ahead it's all about and capture that hill for his team. And once again. Vladim King is in a position uh, where, you know, they, they're, they're in a great position. Yeah, they, they have a spot on this B-Hill. They're both home hills getting capped up by Optic Gaming. So from what I'm seeing is that Vladim King, this new m is going to be spawning up very, very soon. Uh, we'll see who is going to go back in Chaos's hands. He's filling himself. So we need to go on board with Chaos because he's going to be the playmaker and the difference maker in this situation uh, on if Vladim King can kind of bring through the setup and uh, not go down into the half 5-1. Here we go, with another headshot. Three times so far this round, Chaos is able oh, to capitalize with gonna, the M bar. He's gonna, I wanna, he's, he's gonna catch as close as he get on the run. Oh, oh. Mental with the hot hands. Oh, Mental with the Kobe takes out Chaos. A guy that was on fire with the M bar, taking him out was so important for this Optic Gaming wow. roster. His praise is able to take out Desna at a nice 1v1. Take and a shot to give a shot sometimes. Mental, even though he was full red, he knew that he had worth it. he had about a two to three second, a two second worth window it. to hit that up. Hey, he says, oh, you didn't kill me with that? My All turn. Right. Boom. You know, he understands the timing of the game yeah. so well. It, you know, even if he had to risk his life, it was completely worth it because Chaos was a thorn in Optic Gaming side. And with four players waiting to respawn, Lat Am Kings is unable to stop Optic Gaming from winning their fifth round in this map. So guys, we're coming up at halftime. All weapons on the map have been removed, and here we go. On board with Solars, 20 kills, six downs. I got that slang out of his mind for this team. Like I said earlier, Solars plays a support role on some maps, and other maps where he's able to be himself with the power weapons and the shotgun, he produces. He really does produce, and uh, we're seeing something. This Optic Gaming squad is uh, is pretty, they're pretty nice. <laughs> you, they're, you think? <laughs> they're, they're pretty nice. All right, and, you know, I'm I'm still gonna, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna wait till they win their first event as a unit. You know, I'm gonna wait for that first before you know I declare it on. You know, um, you know, great. Part yeah. of the greatest, and in, in that every other team probably you know is gonna have such We've a seen difficult this time. We've seen this before. Atmo teaming up with Puff. We've seen. All-star teams being put together and they weren't really strong in the long run. So this is going to be up to Optic Gaming to prove that, you know, even though they do have an all-star squad with all of these different personalities, they're able to mesh and win championships as well. And I will say this, and you, because you, you, you mentioned uh, the, the Puff thing. Oh, hold up. Ladam King is coming through. They're actually going to be able to win these engagements, push forward, and they do get another round on the board. So that's going to be good man. for them. But, you know, you, you mentioned the whole, you know, Atmo and Puff, and that was 2008 Season 2, Gears of War 1. They came out into the mix. And uh, they came out into the mix, and uh, they teamed up with God603. Yeah. Uh, they also teamed up with Sneaky that first event as well, uh, old school Sneaky, and they ended up winning it. But they weren't a dynasty. No. They didn't win every event that year. Not you know all. what I'm saying? They looked good, and actually they didn't even win nationals that year either. So these team, this team, they may look good now. They might actually even come out and win this next event. I think. So. But to have that same consistency that the old Optic roster had, you have expectations to live up to, and that's, that's different, Blaze. That, that won't be that won't be as easy. No, that not was at something all. special. Because you know? you know what? This Optic Gaming, they they put a, a target on their back now. So those gaming, fresh off a championship, they're looking at them like, okay, we're gonna win again. Yeah. They have Fable, the guys who was able to who were able to beat Optic first. They're hungry. So all these teams are now gunning for this Optic Gaming squad. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna have explosive. He gets that kill. But well, folks, with it, uh, you know, these kills are flipped, and you guys are aware of that. Uh, but just want to reiterate it one more time. Optic looking to get towards Jeez. match point, but 
they got two heals missing, and Monkeys wins a big fight. The question is, does he win the 1v2? He's going to wait for help, and he's going to get some help in this situation. But a, a down does come through, okay. and that was a big kill for Adverse. He actually lands a solid shot. He got one more shot to give, but he misses it, and he's going to go down. So Optic Gaming, with the man advantage, is going to stand on top of this D-Hill, but actually choosing to back up because of the power position in which Sleeper's in on the other side of his wall. He's going to get cleaned up. Now I'm trying to enter this engagement, but just trying to buy time, wait for the team. He goes down. Optic Gaming match point. Explosives with two garbage time kills. Able Optic Gaming. I'm, I'm telling you now, these, these guys are definitely nasty. Six to two. Um, Ronan, a squad that you know you you can't you know laugh at. They, these guys are a threat. Top three in Vegas, and they're pretty much being manhandled right now against Optic Gaming. But um, the draw show is coming up right after this, ladies and gentlemen. So after this game, make sure you do you stay tuned in um to see you know who's pulled up with Optic Gaming. I'm gonna let you know the positives of this match so far. Go ahead. Optic Gaming shows on the big stage how dominant they are again. Yeah. You know, they're letting everybody know, hey, this is what we're going to do to you guys, okay? Take a good close look, try to figure us out. But hey, at the end of the day, we are who we are. Oh, yeah. But then Ladam King, they get their first engagement with them on a stage like this That's without needed. being at land. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Without without being in, act, in, in actual NOLA. So that's, that's good to get that first rep in. Because to get that first rep in in NOLA, is that's a lot of pressure, yeah. right? Now, they, when they get that second rep in, they're going to be a little bit more comfortable against them. And that's going to do wonders. And that, now you have film. You see, optics have is how they do their, you know, pushes together. Um, That's going to be really important and, for teams right. such they as, you know, film on it too now too. Fable, Latin, Kings, Ghost Gaming, and others. So, um, you know, there's, there's many positives to, you know, playing this game if you're on Latin Kings roster. But Monkeys here with the M bar, 12 kills, 12 downs, coming about even when it comes to his stats. Woo! Trying to make a play, gets a shot on Mental. Mental, full red, trying to fight back. Unable to, his average is able to get the kill. Solars using a boom shot to take out Sleeper as well. So here we go. Lad M King looking composed at the moment. But their biggest challenge, the mid game strategy, the rotations, they're unable to do so against Optic Gaming. We're going to see if they can put up a fight right now to stay alive. Praise. He uh, gets some help in, and he's going to get up that kill on Death tonight. He got two kills in favor of Ladam King. Been trying to get control over the neutral currently, and with Praise being extended to his opponent's side of the map, they're able to get that pinch in on Adverse. So the E Hill should win that favor, but he's got oh. a port of 1v1. This is what he wants. This is what yeah. he wants. This is what Praise wants. So it's the same situation. Homeboy delivered that shot. He was like, it didn't kill me. I'm right next to you. I got two seconds to deliver a clean and it, test a shot on It you. doesn't matter how ready he is. Praise always pushes fights he's confident about. You know, he could be 99% and push his fight with full health because he is that damn good with the shotgun. So here we are, more Praise, 19 kills, 9 downs. He runs up, gets a chunk on Sleeper before he gets taken down and out by Chaos. So let him Kings. Currently at eight points to 94. They have a long hill to climb if they want to go ahead and win this game. So we're on board with Chaos offering land support. The Land M Kings, they need, oh, two hills, Blaze. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, they, they, they got the two hills. They get an auto point, and, uh, but they're going to have to be consistent. You know, they're going to have to I win. Agree. That was a cold. Okay. That was All a big right. gunfight that you needed to win against explosives. You need to not let him get, get away from that. Uh, so he's <laughs> going to be able to reset. He's going to have M bar in hand as well. But what I, I wanted to make another comment about Praise. And I want to say what I love about Praise so much, uh, in Gears Esports, it's different styles of players. Yeah. You know? You got a wall bounce flashier pr uh, player that you kind of see with like explosives and toy soldiers and that crew. Yeah. And then you have a more, you know, slower, methodical style of player that you kind of see in Praise and Mental. Yeah. You know? And it just shows that, folks, whatever play style you choose to play, they both can be successful, but just make that decision yeah. and master it. See, Praise, he, you don't see him, you know, wall bounce a lot to try to make clearance. Man. He depends on his shot more than anything. And here we go, Optic Gaming winning map two, seven to two. And folks, uh, you know, hey, that's Optic Gaming coming out on top, but don't go anywhere, okay? I just want to let